everyday DIY pool legends. Just wanted to give you a bit of a spoiler alert that this isn't the full length version of this particular video. It's just a little bit of an introduction so you can see the type of information that we do provide, but the full length video is just for our customers. Hope you enjoy watching this short little sample. G'day DIY Pool Legends. Well, in part two of our Bond Beam series, we're talking about equipotential bonding, otherwise known as earthing. We have, if you've got conductive, meaning it's electrically conductive metal, inside your pool area, then it needs to have an earthing cable. So that way, if any electricity is going into it, it is earthed away and it's not an electrocution risk. That's it in a nutshell. Let's have a look at what this actually looks like. Now you can see here that the clip is onto the actual reinforcing metal itself. And there's two cables. The one that goes to the bottom left is going to a below ground box for a swimming pool blanket. And the one that's going down into the conduit is actually running back to the earthing point. So you can run. So when we're talking about earthing, and when I say we, I mean AS3000 because I'm definitely not an electrician. It means earthing back to either a PowerPoint or to your switchboard. It's not just stick a rod in the ground and it's earth and, and away you go. Definitely needs to be done properly. If you're not sure whether something needs to be bonded or not, best thing to do is contact council or contact your private certifier. Cause well, there you have it. Just a little sample of the video that we provide. We know from our customers all over the country that these videos make a huge difference to putting the pool in and enjoying the process and getting a fantastic outcome with your DIY pool. The name of the game is you want to absolutely save thousands of dollars on your pool, but when someone comes over and has a look at your pool, they shouldn't be able to tell whether you put the pool in yourself, you used a local installer, or you went to a full service, full price pool builder. And that's what these videos and all of our supporting documentation is all about. If you'd like to learn more, you can get in touch with us through the website and talk to the team. We'd love to hear about your project and how we might be able to help.